All right, so it's not great to uh, jump to conclusions after just 24 hours from the beginning of a campaign, but the first 24 hours of Bernie's campaign for 2020 have been incredible. So check out this from Facebook. Since yesterday morning, the response to our campaign has been incredible. $6 million raised, 225,000 contributors, average donation, $27. Now, these numbers... It may be hard to tell out of context. I'll give you some context in a second. But these numbers are incredible. So (laughs) let me just look. This Facebook post, he could have mentioned the fact that he broke records here, but he's too freaking modest to, uh, to bring that up. But let me show you some reporting from the New York Times. Previously, Senator Kamala Harris of California had claimed the biggest early fundraising haul that had been made public. Her campaign said it had raised $1.5 million online from more than 38,000 donors in the 24 hours after announcing her candidacy in January. So, look, <laughs> these numbers from Kamala Harris were really good. $1.5 million online from 38,000 donors in 24 hours. That's, that's, these are good numbers. But Bernie quadrupled them. <laughs> so, this is... This... And this is the kind of news, this is the kind of thing that would make headline news, generally. But when it happens to Bernie, it's not going to be uh, as big of a story as if it were to happen to anybody else that, say, uh, the, the mainstream press favored more. But this, these are incredible numbers. Now, look, again, it's been 24 hours, maybe there'll be a huge drop-off for some reason, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Because uh, a, a, a part of this is how many of these donors are reoccurring donations. So check out this tweet from political reporter Zach Montalero. An important detail, the campaign already signed up $500,000 worth of donations that will reoccur every month. And that was after 12 hours. So that isn't even the full picture. So it's very likely that number is much higher now. But after 12 hours, they already signed up $500,000 worth of reoccurring donations donations. That's how committed Bernie Sanders supporters are. That's, I mean, this is what happens when you spend an entire career, 40 plus years, fighting for the same issues. And then finally, in 2016, you actually get the attention you deserve because you're running uh, in the Democratic primary. People saw Bernie Sanders, saw his message, saw his history of fighting for these issues, and they know that they can trust him. That is why so many people have dedicated themselves to this campaign. Now, Let me also show you more data. This is uh, also from the New York Times, showing that between uh, 2012 and December 31st of last year, which is 2018, showing uh, the estimated number of donors who have given to political uh, uh, to politicians through Act Blue, the Democratic fundraising platform since 2012. So Bernie has 2.1 million donors (laughs) from between 2012 and and uh, and December thirty first, twenty eighteen, that that are individual donors, two point one million, which is if you combine everybody else under him, th- that makes up about what Bernie Sanders has just by himself. So, look, it's almost not fair because <laughs> Bernie ran such a successful grassroots campaign in twenty sixteen. It's going to be very tough for any candidate to be able to even come close to these numbers. I don't think anybody will even there, there's I don't see how anybody in this race could potentially touch Bernie's uh numbers in terms of the individual donors. There's just he has real grassroots support and we've seen that through the other offshoots of his of his campaign like Justice Democrats or like Our Revolution. These are real grassroots movements. Now, even apart from actually before I even move on from that, I should also mention too, look Money, I don't think, is everything. I don't think money is the most important thing. But unfortunately, it does allow you to be able to get your message out there in a campaign. And the reason why this money is important is because it's small individual donor money. It shows you that the support is not... This isn't money raised from corporations. This is money raised from individuals, in most cases, giving small donations, meaning under $200. These are people that are committed to Bernie's campaign who are real people. So 
that's why these numbers are important because not only does it show you that he has the ability to uh, to raise money and get his message out there th through this campaign, but also that these are real people and not just, you know, not lobbyists or not corporations, but actual real voters. Now, another figure that I think is uh, is worth sharing is the amount of views on his video in just the first 24 hours. So this is from uh, political reporter Holly Otterbein. Bernie Sanders' announcement video has been up for 24 hours and it has more views on Twitter than any other 2020 contenders, most of which have been up for weeks. So Bernie's views, 5.2 million in 24 hours compared to uh, Kamala Harris at 4.3, Booker at 4 million, Warren at 3.8, and on and on it goes. So in just the first 24 hours, his the, the views on his video have already topped other candidates that announced weeks ago. I mean, <laughs> there's no comparison. There's no comparison. For all the, all the idiots in the media telling you, oh, is Bernie's support, is that support going to carry over for 2016? I mean, aren't these people going to move on to other candidates now? They're all adopting his message anyways. Complete and utter crap. Bernie Sanders has this support because people know they can actually trust him. It's super easy for any candidate to come out there and say, oh, yeah, I support Medicare for all, even though even in those cases when we've seen that, like with Kamala Harris, the next day they're backtracking. But it's one thing to adopt a message. It's another to have a 40 year record of fighting for that message. That's how people know they can trust you. And that's why a lot of people are willing to give the reoccurring support because they know already who Bernie Sanders is now. The other thing, so I'm going to show you a couple tweets here that make me laugh. Um, so let's just, you know what? Let's forget all this. Forget all these data points. Forget these numbers. Forget the money raised. Let's just, let's, let's just trust what the mainstream press is telling us. So here's from Bloomberg. No one's feeling the burn for 2020. This one from the Washington Post. Opinion. Bernie Sanders is probably just another one-hit wonder. I mean... <laughs> what can you possibly say to this? You have to laugh. Now, it's one thing. Look, a lot of people get worked up over these headlines, and I, I get it. People will be misinformed by this crap, definitely. But understand here that less people will be misinformed now than they were in 2016. So three, four years make a difference. More and more people continue getting their news from a variety of sources, a lot of which happens to be YouTube or progressive outlets. So understand that even if there are going to be and there will be lots of attacks on Bernie Sanders during this campaign, understand that I think it's going to have less of an impact this time than it did last time. Because I mean, it's so easily refutable. I just refuted all this crap. I mean, Bernie Sanders has there, no one's feeling the burn for 2020. I just showed you his support, his campaign, do reoccurring donors, and the, the what is it, <laughs> 225,000 uh, individual contributors, $6 million raised, quadrupled the previous record, but no one's feeling the burn. The, this stuff is so easy to refute that I just don't think it's going to hold the way it, it may have uh, affected people last time. And also, look, another part of this is if there are people in your life that maybe only get their news from CNN or MSNBC or the Washington Post or New York Times. They only get their news from mainstream outlets. Send them this video. Send them other videos. Send them links to, to this data. Just show them what the actual reality is. I mean, show them the article from Bloomberg, how they're trying to uh, create this, this, uh, this idea that Bernie has no support, and then show them the amount of donors he has in the first 24 hours, the amount of small donors he has in the first 24 hours, the record he just broke by quadrupling it. So I think if you show enough people the actual data, they will begin to understand that, yeah, actually, Bernie is really popular. Actually, Bernie would be the best candidate to go to go up against Donald Trump because he has actual real grassroots support. And also... Make sure you also communicate to these uh, same people that the reason why Bloomberg and the Washington Post and others are trying to push back against Bernie is because Bernie questions the status quo. He questions what has made these people so wealthy. So when you when you properly communicate this, make people understand 
why there are some people in the mainstream press, or I should say a lot of the mainstream press against Bernie Sanders, and why he has so much support. In many ways, those two things are connected. When you explain to them what the actual situation is and the real numbers, I think most people will understand that, wow, maybe I've been lied to this whole time. Maybe, in fact, yes, Bernie is as popular as he appears to be. And maybe, yes, he should get my vote in the 2020 primary.